A few years ago, I was working 16 hours a day. I was failing in my business. Most importantly, I was missing all the time with my wife and with my children. And the funny thing is, when I was spending time with them, many years later, they would say to me, Dad, do you remember this? Dad, do you remember that? And you said this and we said that. And I didn't remember. Because even when I did have time with them, I wasn't there. I wasn't in the room. I was somewhere else thinking about work or pay those bills. That's the tragedy of not being your true self. When you're your true self, you can remember all the moments and you can have more of them. My clients were running me ragged. They were abusing me. In fact, one night, I was so tired driving home from a client's house and then he killed myself crashing on the motorway. And after 18 years in business, I wasn't depressed, but I was clinically unhappy. Very late one night, I'm in my office. Um, it's about quarter to 10 at night. And the security guard came into the office to lock up. And I said, just give me 10 more minutes. He said, Derek, what time did you get in this morning? And I just said, well, 8, 8 a.m. And as he walked away, my words just hung in the air. And I put my hand on top of the fighting cap and I slammed that door and I said, I just had enough. And in that moment is when I changed. So immediately I set about setting new standards for the whole of my life. I made a decision to use the key of appreciation and to look at all areas of my life and set new high standards for all those areas and commit to living at those high standards from that point onwards. In England, I'm known as the standards guy. I set really high standards for myself and I stick at those standards. How I changed my life was that I used to set goals. I set goals for 18 years. But until that night in the office, I was a failure on every level. See, this guy makes sense to me because it's not some mystical process. It's not a five day retreat. He just made a decision. Bang, it's done. It's all it takes. I like that. When I set standards, my life changed overnight. Within three years, I became a millionaire. In the following year, I made a million dollars in just that year. And I did it by working half the time. You can start by setting standards in all the areas of your life that you're unhappy with or even angry with and decide how you really want to feel in those areas. And just one day at a time, just stick at that standard. See, it's like a goal. We're not saying do this for the rest of your life. Just do it for today, for one day and stick at your standard. I got a piece of paper and I wrote out my weekly timetable. And at the start of every single day, it, was, it would say, dad taking children to school. And every day would finish differently. In three days a week, it was dad picking children up from school and have client time, non-client time, and weekends and family time. I worked out this whole week schedule and I actually laminated it. <laughs> and I gave one to each member of the, of the family, to each child, to my wife. And the last copy I put with a fridge magnet onto the fridge. So everyone would know, this is the new dad. This is his new standards. One of the things when you set standards is that the people around you in the world will try and judge you or see you at your old standards. And what you have to do is be patient with them and let them know that this is the new you, the new standards, and let them catch up with where you are. Once I set standards, I discovered and appreciated my true self. And as my true self, I changed. And when I changed, everything changed for me. It's Doug Mills. I love this guy. He's so stylish and perfect, though. I don't think I can do what he's doing. <laughs> I do want to be him in my next life, though.